And welcome back to Data Mass Concepts. Today, what we want to look at is the sums and products of roots. All right, so let's look at this question here, question six. All right, so it says, it says if alpha and beta are the roots of the equations x squared minus 6x right here, plus 5 equals 0, find without solving the equation the value of all of these that we're going to be doing, a, b, C and D. So we're going to try to do those four. One of the first things that we want to do is identify what is A, what is B, and what is C. All right. So let's go for that A, B, and C. So the quadratic equation was x squared, it has a minus 6x and plus 5, and this is equal to 0. So what we want to do quickly is to take out what is A, A is the coefficient of the square of x, which is 1, B is the coefficient of the x, which is negative six, and c is the constant, which is five. All right, if we're gonna do this, what we have to remember is the sum. All right, so we're dealing with alpha. And the sum of that is minus b over a. We have to remember that. The product of alpha and beta is c over a. So this is definitely what we have to bear in mind as we go forward in solving problems like these. All right, so basically at the end of the day, what we wanna do is to express ideas so that it will end up in sums and products, that's all. We wanna express all our ideas so that it ends up in sums and products. And from there, we could substitute. Now let us go about finding the values for the sums and the products right now. So let's let's get some to the side here. All right. All right. So, so what we have here, so we have a minus six, so it's minus minus six over a, which is one, which is just gonna give us six. And this one is five over one, and that's gonna give us five. So the, the sum of the roots will give us six and the product will give us five. Now let's see the first expression that they want us to work out. It is A says one over alpha plus one over beta. So we want to evaluate this. We wanna evaluate one over alpha plus one over Better. So given this idea and we want to evaluate this, then as you could see, we are not able to find a value right now. Why? Because this is not, these are not in the sum and product format. So now what we're going to do is to work our ordinary mathematics um, fractions, algebra fractions right now in order to see what's going to happen. So we could cross multiply quickly. This would go with that, that goes with that, and this goes with that. So we're gonna do that quickly to see what's up. So we'll have B times one, we'll have beta plus alpha over alpha beta. So that's what this is, right? Um, if you're wondering where did I get this, basically I'm saying that the LCM is alpha beta. And if you carry out the regular operations with LCM, you'll end up getting this. Most people like to feel comfortable, so they might put the alpha first, but it doesn't matter, right? Now, as you could see, when we have these, then we are able to substitute these values and then we'll get all the answers quite easily. The sum is six, and that must be divided by the product, which is five. So this is the response. This is the answer for one over alpha plus one over beta. It's equal to six over five. All right, let's, let's look at the other one, all right? Let's look at the other one. The other one says one over alpha beta, all right? So the second one, which is part B, part B says, let us evaluate one over alpha beta. Well, this one will be quite easy because already we got this in a product form and all they want us to do is to put one over the product. The product is, is five. So you could see five is there and one is there. And that's the answer. So this one is quite easily done. 
very nice and easy, as you could see, we're evaluating there. Let's go back for this one. So we have the sum. So we have a square plus, okay, so alpha square plus beta square. That's what we have, alpha square plus beta square. All right, so we're at alpha square plus beta square. Now for this, this is the sum of squares. If you know um, much, there's an identity for the sum of squares. Um, to prove it is another thing. Um, the identity for the sum of squares, I could just write it quickly for us. Here is the identity for the sum of squares. The identity for the sum of squares is alpha, beta, all square minus two alpha, beta. So this is the identity for the sum of squares right here. It's an identity for it. So the thing is, um, it's up to us if we wanna, if, 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 so this is good. So all you have to do now, if, if you look carefully, you're gonna realize that, hey, I'm seeing where, I'm seeing the sum here and I'm seeing the product here. And that is what you need in order to do this, all right? In another, um, if you watch previous videos, you'll see how this came about, all right? So let us do the substitution right now. So this is the identity. So the moment I see the sum of squares, I, I will note that, hey, here is an identity for it, and I could plug in the values here, all right? Let's just plug in those values there right now. All right, so the sum is, is six, and we need to square it, and two times the product, and the product is five. 36 minus 10 All right, so as you could see here, um, alpha square plus beta square will give us 26, all right? Let us go back. All right, so for this last one here, D, I'm supposed to do alpha square, beta square. I'm not able to do anything with this right now. And the reason is it's not in a sum or product format. But if, if you look at this and you understand the indices well, this is represented as alpha, beta, all square. So the laws of indices right now. So here it is, I now have it in a product form. And then what is the product? The product is simply five. Therefore, I will substitute the five for the product square and my answer is 25. So it is very, very straightforward, very simple. And that's just an example of how you could evaluate your alpha and your beta. Thank you.